Tak Wa Mak was born in China, the son of a successful businessman. After the communists took power in 1949, the family moved to Hong Kong. Like all the other boys on his street, Tak liked to play marbles and soccer. Although not particularly interested in school, he was lucky to be in a very bright group of classmates. And with the insistence from Tak's mother on the importance of working hard for a good education, his path began to take shape. Tak Mac's attraction to the biosciences led him to do his training at the University of Wisconsin and earn his PhD in biochemistry at the University of Alberta before moving to Toronto to pursue his research and become a Canadian citizen. The only way that I really uh, was happy uh, was to do something really very different, something along the line of chemistry and life and that that was biochemistry, that's what I ended up studying. Dr. Mack's tireless passion for solving the riddles of the cancer-fighting functions of the immune system have driven him to stalk the biggest problems, pose compelling hypotheses, and proffer novel solutions and tools to the research community. One of the defining uh, traits that, that Tack has shown uh, throughout, his, his, through, throughout his career has been the ability to be, on the one hand, very broad in his knowledge, and at the same time, the ability to, to narrowly focus on, first of all, defining what the most important question is, and then figuring out how to answer that question. At some point, I broke out and studied T-cell leukemia. Tack was trying to look at what made one form of immune cell, a T-lymphocyte, different from other forms of immune cells and he took uh, both a straightforward and a, uh, an elegant approach to try, try to find differences in gene expression between those kinds of cells. In 1984, Dr. Mack unraveled one of the toughest problems in immunology, the structure of the T-cell receptor for antigens. And he has been globally recognized as a major figure in the field of molecular and cellular biology ever since. And through that process of trying to study the genes that are involved during the differentiation process as well as the recognition process. Uh, we, we came upon and discovered the T-cell receptor, which, um, I mean, <laughs> thinking back, I, I, I was so, so, so lucky. And out from that popped out the T-cell receptor, which was the sort of seminal discovery for cellular immunology of its time. It was, that was the whole immunology community was looking for. And to think that we just got it like that would, would almost been uh, reckless. It was impossible. It was all speculation before. So when TAC finally nailed the receptor, uh, the whole field of immunology uh, was able to come to grips with this incredibly important uh, next step. It, nobody believed us. Even people in my lab would not believe that. Dr. Mack discovered that T cells use an entirely different set of genes for antigen recognition, a seminal discovery that was the catalyst for a new surge in important cancer research around the world. And I remember there was a news interview written by the late Alan Williams, and all it says was, T-cell antigen receptors, elusive no more. <laughs> Dr. Mack and his team, with prolific efficiency and detail, produced genetically altered mice that, by design, were deficient in a relevant gene for immune or cancer function. The work he's doing with knockout mice and the cell biological innovations that he's working on uh, together are incredible. And so not only did these mice lead to a host of uh, initial observations from his lab, but um, these mice have you know, been the source of numerous follow-up investigations by workers all over the world. So. This service to science has created an outstanding legacy for the Mac Lab and Canadian medical research. If the 20th century was the golden age of physics, then the 21st will be the biology century. And in that regard, Dr. Mack stands as a true leader, world-renowned scientist, and pioneer. When you think of Tack Mack, you think you know, Canada's most cited scientist, 
discoverer of the T-cell receptor and brilliant bench scientist. I think he's indefatigable, basically. That's the word I would think of. I mean, he's relentlessly committed to uh, his science. He has never rested on his laurels. Tack has gone on to do pioneering work in immunology, apoptosis, cell death, oncogenesis, and may well in be doing the most important work of his life right now in terms of cancer cell biology. And there are, is no limit to profound questions that we can ask about science and the future. I really think that we're going to see some fabulous breakthroughs out of TACMAX group in the years ahead. Those are the moments that make it worthwhile. Ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Takwa Mack.